Hi, welcome to Citizen Survival Plan. Today I have a very quick topic I want to talk about. I see this radio question come up a lot and I'm going to try and explain it. The question always is, my radio lights up, the indicator light turns on, but I don't hear anything. And my volume's up, I know that it's on, and people keep asking this. I see this on the internet and I've been asked this, so I, w I want to answer it. This all has to do with the tones, the CTCSS or the DCS, the digital tone in your radios. Let's start with GMRS really quick. GMRS has limited repeater channels. There is eight repeater channels and they share frequencies with the eight simplex channels. If you have two GMRS repeaters, in one town or in one area that you can receive both the repeaters at once, and they're both on channel, let's say 21, GMRS repeater channel 21, and there's two different tones. One has, I don't know, a tone of 141.1, and the other one has a 207.1, or whatever, whatever they are, it doesn't matter. When the other repeater is transmitting and you're on that same channel, but you have a different tone, your radio will light up and show that it's receiving something. Why you don't want to turn these off is because you then, if you turn all the receive tones off, you will hear two repeaters coming into your radio at once, but your transmit tone is only set to go to one of those repeaters at a time. So you could be transmitting to one repeater and hearing another one. So it could get really confusing. And this is also something that happens on GMRS that I've seen. There will be two repeaters on the same channel with the same tones, and you will be in one place that can transmit to both of them simultaneously. This is because GMRS does not have frequency coordinators. Now, I will say the person who put up the second repeater should just be smart enough not to make the tone the same if they're going to put on the same channel because that's going to confuse everybody and it's going to just mess your repeater up. Um, anybody can put a GMRS repeater up. Unlike with ham, you have to use a frequency coordinator. So the frequency coordinator will actually help pick the frequencies and the tone so there isn't interference with other repeaters. With GMRS, it's just more open. Anyone can throw a repeater up. So that's why that happened. So with ham radio, this happens too. And it happens for a different reason. On ham radio, a repeater will be listed in repeater book and you can pull it from chirp and, and go ahead and slide it in your radio. Well, the tone will be wrong or not necessarily the tone, but the way they have it listed is wrong. Instead of TSQL, it should be listed just tone. So that means there's only a tone into the radio. You're only transmitting to access that repeater. What I see all the time with ham repeaters are they will do TSQL. So when you key up that repeater, you'll see it come back to your radio. It'll light up and you won't hear, you won't hear its call sign being called out or the Morse code that it does to identify itself. But you, you'll see it lighting up. They have it listed wrong in Chirp. This happens constantly. I, I cannot tell you how many times this has happened in programming radios and stuff. The solution to this is just to go in and turn off the CTCSS, the receive, not the T, the receive CTCSS, or turn off the digital, the DCS. That way you can just hear what's coming back. This actually happened to me. I went on vacation. I programmed my radio to talk to some people on their repeaters in another town. And I just pulled them in right in from Chirp. And I, as, soon as, as soon as I keyed up, I saw it come back and light my radio up and nothing happened. I knew right away that there was just no received tone on that repeater. That repeater is not transmitting a tone out, but you need one to access it. I even asked the guy on the radio, I said, does this have a receive tone? He said, no. And I did explain to him, I was like, well, this repeater is listed as having a receive tone on it. But anyways, it happens all the time. I don't know why they're listing them wrong, but it does happen. And the simple solution is to just simply turn your receive tones off in the radio. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.